Hey guys, welcome to Nifty World NFT. Well, today we are talking about three more brilliant stories that are coming out of the Web3 space that are showing you how people in real life are changing the game using NFTs. Now, I'm going to be talking through a major footballing governing body that is using NFTs to really mark a major event in that particular sport. Plus, we've got a very clever cameo from a board ape, which I think is definitely worth you thinking about how you can use your IP. And we've even got a massive musical act who have sold out a huge NFT collection and has topped the charts with what they are doing in the Web3 space. So all this to play for, loads more coming your way, and let's dive right in. Right, well, for our first story, let's take a look at the upcoming Football World Cup. Now, FIFA, which is the football's global governing body, has actually thought with a Web3 head on because it is launching its own NFT platform on Algorand in the run up to the World Cup. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, this is Algorand. It's the world's most powerful and sustainable blockchain, although very few people actually may have necessarily heard of it. Uh, this is the first that I've come across this. Um, but nevertheless, obviously, FIFA sees something in this and it's definitely weren't wanting to uh, partner with them for this particular NFT platform. But what they are doing is going to be launching their NFT platform for football collectibles. So what that means is it's going to be uh, NFTs that depict football moments, um, maybe from this World Cup, maybe from yesteryear as well. Lots of art and lots of imagery. Um, and the platform is going to be called FIFA Plus Collect. So if you are a football fan, and it'll be interesting to see how well this does because a number of different clubs and other sort of sporting uh I suppose sporting governing bodies, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and also other clubs as well, haven't really set the world alight with this. But this is slightly different because it is an NFT platform as opposed to a um, you know a particular uh, collection of NFTs. This might be something very different. They might be working with lots of clubs in the future, so this might be the first stepping stone for them. But nevertheless, if you are looking forward to the upcoming World Cup later on uh, this year, then this is de definitely something for you to keep an eye on it. And you know, like NBA Top Shots or anything like that. You know, these key moments for your particularly favorite sport might be something that you're really wanting to buy into. So a great opportunity there for you as well. Now, our next story, this makes me chuckle and laugh with the innovation behind it. You can now get advice from a Bored Ape NFT on Cameo. Oh yes, this is the smart thinking of a very clever uh, entrepreneur here who has taken his particular BAYC, so it's 9132, and decided to utilize its IP and turn him into essentially a uh, well, an AI version of himself and something that he can do uh, on Cameo. So this is gonna be the first ever Cameo board ape. And um, this is basically the, the mindset behind this or the mastermind behind this is Adam Draper, who is kind of a, a serial entrepreneur. He's done lots of different things like, the, you know, VC work as well. And this is something that I think is just kind of a really clever opportunity for people to really get involved with this if you're a big fan of board apes. So we've got here, um, you know, at the moment we can, we can play on a couple of these and, and see how it plays out. Um, but you can see you'll get this kind of AI version of your BAYC. You'll get it talking to you, giving you advice, looking at like the things that you want it to ask about. So maybe you need some advice on your, your particular project, you want some feedback on it. Why not get it direct from Ape 9132? Um, there's a big introductory video on Cameo for you to see this uh, from Adam Draper himself as he's talking as his Ape. Uh, but it's really, really interesting to see the innovation when it comes towards how people are using their IP. And you know what? Why not? Why not give it a go on something like Cameo? This definitely works. And I think if it builds up enough of an audience, it will definitely uh, be quite a little profitable um, opportunity for Adam Draper there. So yeah, he is, uh, as you can see here, he's he's an investor, in, uh, he's a Boost VC. He's also the, one of the first investors in Coinbase. So he's got his head screwed on. He knows what he's looking for and he's seeing big opportunities as they come around. And this is just one of them. So um, check him out on Cameo. I think it's a really, really clever little thing. 
for you guys to do if you are thinking of um, any NFT fans out there who are wanting to get a special message from a board ape, this is probably the way to do it. Now, after this quick ad break, we're going to be coming back and talking to you about a major UK band who has sold a collection of NFTs and actually topped the charts while doing it. So don't go anywhere. Oh, hello, you've just caught me on another NFT break. Well, whilst I've got you here, I just wanted to let you know that we're really pleased to say that we've partnered with the Tezos ecosystem for this video. Tezos is the blockchain that you can build, play and collect on, and its ecosystem is home to developers, creators and innovators from all around the world. It's also super environmentally friendly with an average energy footprint of just 17 global citizens. Now, knowing that, along with low gas fees and sustainability through innovation, you can rest assured that this is a green, clean blockchain. And don't just take my word for it. Some of the world's biggest brands are building their futures on Tezos, including Ubisoft, the New York Mets, Red Bull Racing, McLaren F1, and even Manchester United. So a huge thanks to the Tezos ecosystem for partnering with us on this video. And if you want to find out more about the Tezos blockchain, then make sure you check out all of the links in our description box below. But for now, let's get back to business. Well, I promised you a major UK band that is uh, topping the charts in the UK here. And not only that, they're doing it using NFTs as well. So they've become the first act to top the charts with an NFT album. So this is Muse. They have made chart history. They are the first act with the album being number one and being sold as an NFT. It's called Will of the People. Um, it sold 51,500 copies in its first week, but actually a thousand of those copies are your NFTs, okay? So that, that that sold out. They were actually using a different platform as well called Serenade, which is what you can see here. And this is how you um, are able to mint if you wanted the NFT version of this. This is a very sustainable platform. You know, they're really pushing forwards with um, their, their eco-friendly credentials on this as well. But what you're basically getting, if you were lucky enough to get one of these limited thousand editions, is um, the album itself, it's a downloadable version of the album, alternative cover art, and digitally signed as well by the members of Muse. So if you are a big fan of Muse, this is a really great way of doing it. But that contributing to the opportunity of their own traditional album sales have seen them top the charts here in the UK. So again, integrating that idea of utilizing the Web3 space, not fully necessarily, but as part of your Web2 journey, doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. I think it's a really good first stepping stone and Muse as a major, major band here in the UK have really shown you how it is done by topping the charts. Well, there you have it. Some incredible news coming out of the NFT space. I think each week, everything gets a little bit stronger and stronger when it comes to the NFT space and the Web3 space in general. So I hope you've enjoyed those stories. Now, if you need any more inspiration from other people doing incredible things in the Web3 space, then check out videos like these. They're here to give you a helping hand along your way of your particular journey. And if you need any more help, you can always DM me on Twitter. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.